I'm joined today by Constable Dustin Clausen of the Delta Police Frauds and Scams Unit. Dustin, thanks so much for coming in. No problem. Um, you were mentioning that uh, the Microsoft scam is something that you're seeing more and more of. Can you tell us a bit about that? Certainly. So, uh, so the Microsoft scam, uh, in general, what we see is scammers will call up uh, just random phone numbers, and uh, they'll indicate to the uh, to the person who picks up that there's a you know virus on their computer or that they've detected a virus on that person's computer, and then uh, if the victim allows them, they'll uh, they'll ask for access to the computer. So uh, either they'll have the victim download some remote uh, access tool like uh, I believe TeamViewer is one and uh, then they will go through and they'll either start uh, showing you about all the viruses on there and what they'll do is they'll go into your control panel and show you just general normal processes and say see look at all of these viruses that are running then they'll ask you to uh, download some uh, virus or antivirus uh, software that really is unnecessary because most people generally already have their antiviruses um, after they've done this, uh, they might, while they're at it, steal some of your personal information they can find on your computer. And then afterwards, they're going to ask you to pay you know, several hundred dollars for the service that they've just provided for you. Uh, if you give them your credit card... So you're paying the money <laughs> for having just stolen your information and ripped you off. Absolutely. And at the very worst, uh, that's the case. At the very least, they've given you a service that's completely unnecessary. Uh, now they might be using your credit card after the fact for you know unauthorized transactions. Uh, so it's a, you have to be really careful about this. Uh, the easiest thing to know about this is that Microsoft does not monitor your computer. Uh, you will never have a Microsoft technician call you. They, they don't do that. Uh, so if you get this call, you know right off the hop that it's a scam. Uh, now if they're asking for uh, personal information or they're asking for access to your computer, just don't give it to them. Uh, you can just hang up on those callers. Dustin, thank you so much for coming in today. For more information about how to protect yourself from frauds and scams, check out our resource, Get Scam Smart, on CARP's website, carp.ca resources.